on, guys. 347 Tech here. And, um, Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 versus Surface Book 2 15-inch. How do both of them stack up against each other? We're going to check out today. Both of these are awesome 2-in-1s, but some of the categories we're going to be testing today are nothing but the design, display, performance, keyboard and trackpad, ports, and, um, battery life. Availability and price. Those are basically the categories we're going to be testing out today. All right, let's get right into the design category. So the XPS comes with this really nice carbon fiber material, as shown right here. And the Surface Book is just aluminum, like plain aluminum. But both of them have um, their advantages. Aluminum is just more um, clean, subtle, and you can't really damage it or stain it that much. You just wipe it off. Carbon fiber, on the other hand, if you stain it, it might stay there, and um, oil, grease, it's just more um, pro prone to pick all those little scented things up, and that's that's a problem, um, but it still feels really good in the hand. It's nice to have a soft texture instead of cold, hard aluminum when you're typing, because um, you want it to feel comfortable, but how about the whole computer in general design? XPS, Surface Book Pictures right here. Both of them look awesome. The bezel -less design of the XPS I really, really like. But the Surface just feels more of an all-rounded, really good-looking computer. XPS just looks like it has too many things in, on it, but Surface Book's more, like, I'd say the more professional device that you would carry from work to every day. But I do not like the hinge. It's um, sort of protruding out a little. That's a problem, but it's okay. Okay, um, next, how about the display? Both of these are really, really good um, displays, but Dell's offers a 4K display, which um, is, it's not, it's pretty close to the 3240 by 2160 found on the Surface Book 2. But they also offer a 1080p display because the 4K will reduce majorly on battery life. Like, you will not get a good battery life on the 4K. But on the 1080p, you'll you'll get pretty good. We'll get into the battery life segment pretty soon. Um, so, but the Surface Book's uh, specification right here, 3240 by 2160, I'd say that is actually the best sweet spot. Um... It's not as vivid as the 4K display right here, um, but it's still really good at um, a pretty high resolution, and it maintains the battery life. That's what we need something in the middle ground to be good. That's what the MacBook Pro and Surface Book 2 did good, so that's why I gave them the categories. People were um, a little mad in the comment section about that, so just saying that's the reason I gave it to them. So um, once again, usually. Surfaces are really good at um, keeping the colors and everything, sharpness, but Dell's is actually really good too. Here's a picture of Dell, Dell's display and um, Surface. Dell's bezel-less display is also really good. There's chunky bezels over here too. So um, it's not something I could say like the MacBook Pro, which had uh, minimal bezels, not as much as this. So I'd say the winner has to be um, Dell for this category. Okay, how about the performance? Um, Surface Book 2 has 8th generation Intel Core i7 uh, base. The XPS has an 8th generation Intel Core i5 base, which can be upgraded up to um, i7, which is um, pretty good. Both of these are max at a 16 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte um, SSD, which is basically the same uh, base, same, but Dell's XPS 15 it's just a little better in the GPU side. Surface Book has really good too. It's a really legit gaming CPU, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. Dell's offers an AMD Radeon RX Vega MGO GPU, which is um, pretty good. But Surface actually sort of keeps up really good in this segment, so performance goes to the Microsoft Surface. How about the keyboard and the trackpad? Both are really nice to type on, but Dell's less key travel isn't everyone's favorite, actually. So, though I might not um, really feel the difference, I really don't care which one I get. I still s might slightly prefer the higher key travel because I'm just used to that a little more. 
but that's all the people. I that's most eighty percent of the people. So, and Surface's keyboard's really nice. The backlighting, the backlighting is awesome, just like the XPS. XPS is good too. But the less key travel, I think, might um throw some people off. So, the the keyboard goes to the um Surface. But how about the trackpad? Um, trackpad, I'd say it's. Uh, both of them aren't the great. Here's the pictures of both of them. They aren't the best, so trackpad's a tie. I really can't pick anything out of them. And by the way, both of these support styluses, just keeping that out there. That's extra, doesn't come in the box. How about battery life? The most anticipated category, I'd say, for any XPS comparison, 15 especially, um, the Surface Book 2 comes in, you probably get maybe around 8 to 10 hours of battery life on it. It's powering up pretty high display still, um, though it might not be as low as the 1080 found on the Dells or the 4K as high as high as 4K. It's pretty good in battery life. I say it's the best blend. The 1080p Dell XPS probably gets around 9 to 11 hours, and the 4K Dell XPS gets maybe 6 to 8. That's a major downside, and I'd say even with the 1080p, you're just getting slightly more, but that horrible display sort of just ices the whole experience of the computer so the winner has to be the surface book here how about the availability you can buy the surface book at basically every single microsoft store you see outside and you'll probably see that every single best buy too the dell xps 15 2 and one you probably have to wait until the summer for it to release so if you're looking for something quick for your video editing or graphics designing or anything it's Surface Book, which takes the cake in this category. The price, though, is a total different story. The Dell XPS 15, it comes at a very, very generous, I think, $1,300, uh, no, $1,400 for the base model, which isn't as high. It just comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and an i5 processor, um, which is not that much, actually. But it's still a premium price, though the Surface Book 2 usually is really expensive, and it is, it's really expensive in this, um, comes in at a starting price of $2,000, and each upgrade in the Dell's probably costs you maybe around 100 to $300, same with Apple's computers, but this one, bro, you're going like $400 each segment up, so price definitely goes to the Dell XPS 15. So that's it for the end of this video. What's the verdict? Um, I'd say the Dell XPS 15 is probably the most all-rounded. Um, I personally would pick the um, Surface Book day in and day out, but a Dell XPS is probably the one most people are going to go for, and it's just my pick because for the price, you're getting a way better um, thing. If you're getting one, probably go for the 1080p unless you really need the extra display. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like down below. Subscribe right up there for more awesome content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.